So here are my tips that I hope will set you and your team up for success. These are general principles I've learned along the way from big mistakes that I've made where I found small things can make a really big difference and a big improvement for you. So number one is don't get overwhelmed by features. We're using it as a media server, but it's also a VJ software that's video jockey. You know, they're using it to mix video content for entertainment. So certain things like the crossfader function, cue points, these are things you probably aren't gonna use in your church. So don't get bogged down in trying to integrate all of these things or feel like because it's in the software, you're supposed to use it. Number two is building on that. Clean up your user interface and hide the things that you don't need. You know, for one, this is gonna help you see what you do need and give more real estate to that. But also, when you hide parameters that you don't wanna change anyway, you avoid accidentally scrolling through and bumping a fader as you're programming or changing things you don't intend to change. So use layouts to your advantage, make presets, and remember that less is more in your user interface. So number three is run Resolume on a clean machine. All that means is if you're bringing in a gaming computer and repurposing it for Resolume, it's a good idea to do a clean install on that machine. Or if you can't do a clean install, at least delete the things you don't need. Disable startup applications that start running in the background when you turn the computer on for the first time. These are all gonna help you have a more stable computer. It's gonna have more power available to Resolume, and it's just going to serve you so much better on a week-to-week -week basis. Number four is get familiar with FPS. We talk about this in another video, but just know for now, you probably don't wanna set your FPS to auto whenever you're setting up your composition settings. It's a good practice to lock it to something. There's a lot that goes into thinking about what FPS you want to lock your system to, but a good way to start thinking about it is that it's better to see one consistent frame rate than to see it fluctuate. So if you try to target 60 frames, and as your machine is working, you see it drop down to 45 and back up to 60, that's more distracting than just locking it at 30. So these are things to start thinking about as you're optimizing your system. Tip five is check your cues. This sounds obvious, but as you're programming, you know, cues don't always work the same way in different directions, and you can also make changes you don't intend as you're going along. So two minutes before a service to just punch through your cues can make all the difference in finding something that's doing something you didn't expect it to do. This may be the most important thing that I can think of just for consistent Resolume usage. Check your cues, make sure that they work in sequence, and you're gonna have better services. I hope these five lessons that I've learned help you and your church use Resolume more effectively.